So my name is Ahmed Al-Sisi. Uh, I'm a chaplain. I'm also a founder of White Rose Funerals of Memorials on Splot Road in Cardiff. Um, and we cover, uh, we fake cater, our service caters for um, all faiths and no faith. So our funerals, uh, our families can be from any faith or no faith uh, at all. Um, it, it, when we do a funerals, when we provide the service for, the, for families, uh, we encounter a lot of problems. And one of the biggest problems that we are facing at the moment is um, the lack of land, a lack of supply of land. Um, so they, the, the cemeteries and the crematorium at the moment can only cater for the next five years or provide uh, graves for the next five years or so. Um, so which we, we complained to the council uh, quite recently, sometimes last year, and the council looking into providing a new and a bigger cemetery um, somewhere uh, I heard in um, Thornhill. Um, apparently, they they submitted a, a permit a permission for our cemetery use, and they might be getting that quite soon. So that's that that solves uh, uh, solves an issue. But when you come, if you look into it, there's more issues um, that can that um, we face as field directors providing the service. When it comes to faith funerals, especially the people of faith such as Muslim, Sikh, Hindu, Jewish, Roman Catholic, they look for for a quick funeral, so at the same day, next day, or 48 hours. And with the regulations that are in place at the moment, we can't do that uh, for many reasons. But most importantly, um, in, in Newport, there is no pre pre dug grave. So, um, you know, um, there is no weekend services in, in, in Panath and, 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 and Barry. There is no weekend registrar. So if a person passed away Friday night or Saturday morning, we cannot register death, which we need to do so for us to to do to, to do the to do the burial. So only in Cardiff we have weekend burials and we have weekend registrars. And and on a normal day, Monday to Friday, we can book same day funeral if we uh, register the death before ten thirty, which is quite difficult sometimes, most of the time, because if the death happens early hours of the morning or happens late hour late hours of the of the day before then you have to get you have to acquire a, a bereavement um, a medical certificate from the bereavement officer, which then allows you then to to, to make a trip to make a trip, to make your way down to to Cardiff to um, to the registrar's office to register the death, and the whole process takes about three four hours in, in the first place. So if if the officer starts at nine, and you have till ten thirty to get a medical certificate and register a death an hour and a half so you imagine the pressure um, that families go through and the, one of the issues is lack of education so when we explain to to, to explain to um, service providers such as the council the hospital mortuary staff or bereavement office that you know we try to help families of faith um, who who believe it's part of their faith that to to bury ASCP or to cremate because the Hindus don't bury they cremate ASCP, same day, next day at the latest. Um, we say it's, a, it's a, re a religious requirement. They say, well, it's not. It's a cultural thing, and we have a we have a debate. But no, it's not. It's it's a religious thing. It's a faith thing, and you often hear things like, oh, you bring your culture here, and it's nothing to do with culture. It's it's a, it's a matter of faith, um, and people who don't bury a cremate the same day or next day. They feel guilty, and it's something that they cannot get over for the rest of their lives because they think that they've done, they could have done better, and they've gone against their faith, so they feel sinful. Um, as the Hindu community, Hindu community, Hindu the Hindu faith, they believe that the body, that the soul lingers. So the longer you leave the body, the, 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 the more the soul suffers, and the body suffers. So how do you convince such a family of people of such faith that, you know? We cannot cremate because one signature from a doctor is not available, you know. So it causes, it causes, it causes a lot of problems, which leads to a bigger problem, which is mental health. A lot of people have issues with mental health because of bereavement. You know, um, a, few, a couple of years ago, uh, I've done a funeral for a young lady who, um, who lost her baby. And three weeks late, later, after the funeral, she rang me and she said, I'm going to kill myself. And she took an overdose of medication. And the reason was that she was she was her her needs were not met by the hospital by the by the council by um, 
by the council service providers? I mean, the, the barrier ground, the cemetery, everything was delayed um, in a way that she didn't feel comfortable with and, and you know, went against her beliefs. And with the problems that she faced, you know, bereaving in the first place, and she, that she was left, she was left alone, and she had no counsel, and she was, she was, you know, um, distraught. She was in a very bad situation. So um, I did call the police, and I, we did save her, save her life that day, and we still keep, keeping in contact with her. But a lot of families suffer suffer from mental health after bereaving, after losing someone, and that's mainly because that they feel that they let they let they let their loved one down. Um, Funeral poverty. Funeral poverty. Mm -hmm. So funeral poverty is is, is ongoing and uh, an an ongoing problem and outgoing problem.